And the number one pick is another paper from the Archives of Internal Medicine uh, looking at the effects of adding an anticoagulant to dual antiplatelet therapy largely in patients with acute coronary syndromes. There were several smaller trials amongst the 12 included, and the two large trials were APRAISE-2 uh, and the atlas timmy 51 trial. They found overall a, uh, a big increase in bleeding, a three-fold increase in bleeding with the same about for each different severity, uh, major bleeding or minor bleeding. Um, they found a significant reduction in the uh, composite endpoint cardiovascular death and myer stroke and of stent thrombosis, interestingly, in, in the trials that assessed that. Uh, but when adding major bleeding to cardiovascular death and myer stroke, the effect was neutral overall with hazard ratio of just 0.98. And so they argued that the net benefit really didn't seem to be there when putting up those two uh, type um, endpoints. Um, there have been reductions in mortality seen with the very low dose of rivaroxaban in the atlas TIMI-51, and so not addressed here is the dose of the anticoagulant, whether a very low dose uh, anticoagulant as opposed to full dose anticoagulation uh, may be of, of benefit. So for this week's Cardiology Countdown, I'm Chris Cannon.